Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Iram. Happy holidays, you guys. I know I am super late and I have not posted in such a long time. I am so sorry, but I will be on top of my game this 2019. Let's go. So for today's video, as you guys can already tell by the title, I will be doing a simple everyday makeup look. This is the look that I have ended with. If this is definitely something you guys want to see what products I use, please go ahead and keep watching. Before we go ahead and start this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Leave suggestions as to what you guys want to see next, what makeup look you guys want to see. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this video. Before you came round, my heart would never be mine. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get started. So I already did my eyebrows off camera because it is super time consuming. I use the Anastasia um, in shade Soft Brown. And then to conceal, I use the Tarte Shape Tape in shade Light Neutral. Alright, let's go ahead and get started on the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over my lid. And then I'm going to use a concealer brush to kind of just spread it out evenly over my eyelid. Okay, and once my eyes have been setted, I'm going to go ahead and start on the eyeshadow. The eyeshadows I will be using today are the Jaclyn Hill Palette and some colors from the ColourPop Cute AF. So I'm going to go ahead and take my blending brush and I'm going to go ahead and go in with this orangey yellowy shade right here. And I'm going to just go ahead and apply that all over my crease. Once that yellowy shade is in right there, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this darker burnt orangey shade. And I'm going to go ahead and just go over that right below where I put that orangey shade and just darken up the crease a little bit. And once that shade isn't applied, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with the yellowy orangey shade. And I'm going to go ahead and go back in on the outer side. Okay, next I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to take my concealer brush. And I'm going to just go ahead and cut my crease. It's just a little half crease. Okay, and once that concealer is done, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this flat brush. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Cute AF palette. And I'm going to use this yellow shade right here in the corner. And I'm going to go ahead and pack it all on my lid right here. Once that yellow shade is in, I'm going to go ahead and take, again, the burnt orange shade right here that we used before. And I'm going to go ahead and just go back in right here throughout where the yellow and the orange and make sure that it's completely blended out. And once that has blended out, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner from Too Faced. And I'm going to go ahead and just outline right here at the very top where the cut crease is at. Okay, 
this is our final look right here it is basic it's simple but it is super cute i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and i will be right back so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the face it is already prepped with moisturizer i'm just gonna go ahead and go in with our primers i use two different types of primers i use the professionals by benefit and I also use the Too Faced Hangover Primer. The poreless primer I used in my T-zone, so it'll be right here and down right here on my chin. And the Hangover I use just right here on my cheeks. Just because I do have bigger pores right here, especially right here around the nose. And then over here it's kind of like not that big of pores, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the hangover and a little goes a long way so we're gonna go ahead and go in with foundation I use the NARS luminous foundation in the shade Punjab so let's go ahead and get that and the technique I do use for my foundation is to spray a little bit of setting spray before and this is the D slick foundation by urban decay I'm just spray it on my face avoiding my eyeshadow and I'm gonna let that sink in for just a second and then after that I go in with my foundation and I put just a little bit on my foundation brush right here and I just start applying from the edge here just make little streaks like this and then go back in and just spread it out with my foundation brush. And as you guys can tell, I don't have texture in my face that much, but I have always suffered from redness right here. And this foundation definitely does a great, great job in covering up that redness um, I'm not putting too much right here because that's where the concealer is going to go so if I put foundation here it just makes it more cakey for me in my opinion so that's as high as we're going to go but this foundation is definitely my go-to foundation definitely 100% recommended if you guys are looking for a good foundation but this definitely does not go wrong as you guys can tell i'm about to get a brand new one because i am almost out and then i am also going to go in on my forehead right here oops that might have been a little bit too much and i'm also going to go in right here on my nose All right, now that we have the foundation all over our face, we're going to go ahead and take our concealer. Again, I am in the shade Light Neutral, and I'm going to just take a little bit. I'm also going to align right here, make that sharp, a clean cut right there. As you guys can tell, a little does go a long way. Just to pack everything in, I do go back in with my Beauty Blender. And I do dampen it with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. And I just spritz it just twice. And from there, we start blending everything in. All right, once everything is completely blended out, we're going to go ahead and go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And we're just going to go ahead and set 
the under eye with the Beauty Blender. After we are finished setting everything, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the contour kit by Anastasia, the light to medium. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade right here with just like a buff little brush. I'm just go ahead and go in right here. Once we have contoured, we're gonna go ahead and go back in with the Laura Mercier and just make that clean cut right there. Gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side right here. So it is nice and snatched, yes queen. We're just going to go ahead and brush away any excess. Once all of that is dusted away, we're going to go ahead and move on to highlight. So the highlight that I use is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. It's just like a pressed powder type thing. And it just says Illuminating Mineral Veil right there. Ooh, do not mind my hands. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to just go ahead and take a brush right here. Again, I do use the setting spray again because I just feel like it glows. Watch. Let's watch this, you guys. Ooh. Y'all see that? Glows. I do bring it down right here, so. But look at that, you guys. Beautiful. And that dot you guys see right there is a pimple, so sorry about that, you guys. But look at that. Look at that. Isn't, isn't she beautiful? So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. But yes, guys, I'm honestly in love with this highlight because I just think she glows. Don't y'all think? I just think it's beautiful. And yes. But next, we're going to go ahead and move on to the semi-final stage of everything. We're going to go ahead and finish off. I like doing my eyelashes first. There are some people who do it right after they do their eyeshadow. But for me, I'm going to go ahead just do that real quick and I'm going to be using the better than sex mascara by Too Faced I lost my actual waterproof big one so I had to stick with this little mini one that I had so that is why I have the travel size in case you guys were wondering All right, so the next step after the mascara is on is the eyelashes. I'm gonna tell you guys something about these eyelashes. These eyelashes are a dollar. A dollar, guys, like a dollar, like I'm shook. Like they're really pretty. The quality for them being a dollar is freaking amazing. Like it's amazing. These are from Miss A. Miss A is a new store that they opened up not so long ago at the park small at arlington so this pair of eyelashes is one dollar right here they're called chloe they are amazing they are my all-time favorite from like one dollar like that's crazy so i'm gonna go ahead and just pop these babies on these are the lashes 
Honestly, like, hunty, let me tell you, these lashes are so good. Like, any style that you, like, there are some styles that are, like, you know, really? But it's $1. Like, they're $1. Like, look at these lashes. Like, they're so pretty. They're so beautiful. It just, it's amazing. And then to finish off this video, we're going to go ahead and put lipstick on. And this is also from Miss A for, again, a dollar. Everything in that store, I cannot stress, is one dollar. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. This is in the shade Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick in Nude. That's what that looks like right there. And this is kind of like a burnt orange shade type lipstick. So it definitely goes great with the look that we did today. Alrighty guys, lipstick is on and I definitely feel like this shade of orange goes perfect with this whole entire look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, I stress enough that I am not a makeup guru. I just do these types of things for fun. If you guys have any tips, like I said, go ahead and leave them down below. If you guys have, again, any suggestion, any makeup look you guys want, visit my social media uh, Instagram, Irem's World, just like this YouTube channel. You guys can see types of makeup looks that I have on there that I have done in the past. So please, again, before this video ends, if you have not liked it already, go ahead and give that like and go ahead and comment. Turn on those post notifications because I will be posting every week from now on, I promise you guys. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned a little bit about my techniques. Maybe some of these can help you guys the way you do your makeup. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.